G. We have figured out how we're attaching to our our drivetrain. Mm -hmm. um, now let's talk about the elephant in the room. This big, heavy, yes, stupid, <laughs> stupid motor. Let's get it out of here. All right, this let's, thing, yeah. Let's you, go. You don't want this anymore? No. We're going to expand the bolt with heat and that's going to kind of break right along the the bolt itself. Yeah. Got to um, make it, you know, when we got a things loosey, get hot, loosey goosey. Jesse, what happens when things get hot? They get big and move around. Well, yeah. The molecules move. Well, that that too. Yeah. yeah. So those two things, but mostly I think the the yeah, expansion, the expansion and contraction is going to be you know, cuz if you're like stuck next to someone, so we're stuck. Okay. And we're like this for yeah, Thir three years or whatever. Yeah, and then all of a sudden I go. Oh, you see that break oh, the right movement, there? Movement, the yeah. movement. That's so it. That's what we're going for here. Yeah, it moves. Wow, you really did use a lot of W before you. Nope. Breaker bar. <laughs> Breaker bar. Yeah, see, it just moves the motor. Oh yeah, let me hold the motor. So Jesse, you're bracing the motor so that Mr. G can try and get this bolt off. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, it's oh, moving. It. Yeah. That worked. We did it. Yeah. Did it work, guys? What? What's this, Mr. G? <laughs> what? This oh, is yeah. for like, if you're trying to like, you know. <laughs> Decompress your brain? Yeah. <laughs> so if I go to pull this off, I really doubt that this would, oh, actually. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. It comes off like it's brand new. Yeah. Don't need this. <laughs> Whoa. Click. Dang, that's a it's a long one. Stick it in the hole. All right, okay, that's it. not appropriate. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Doctor. That's <laughs> cool. Look at the different colors. Let's play Will It Go? Yeah. It won't go. Oh! We got, to time. we got two of them. So if you want more leverage and you got the clearance, you can actually do this to make it. Nice. And it's actually easier on your hand because now it's flat yep. to your hand versus not flat. Nice. So, right. yeah, old school. Okay, well, let's get that rolling. Wow. Okay. So everything, wait, all four bolts are loose? Yep. All four bolts yep. are loose. So we can put it back down. We'll put it down. We got to deal with the cables. So the next thing is you got to deal with throttle cable fuel mm -hmm. and then maybe there's a couple of wires for magneto okay. and uh, that should be it as far as connected to the vehicle all right it's really nothing much else Do it. yeah so look there's fuel uh so that deals with the throttle or it might be choked it's choke. actually choke yeah. okay so it's just like a bicycle when you pull on one thing then remotely it will pull the uh, cable somewhere else and then we got uh, fuel. This is your fuel filter. Here's your fuel right here. And then this is, uh, that's steering. That's not part of that. Yep. And then the only other thing I could think of is, let's see, this is probably throttle. Okay, so it's just a couple of things and then uh, she should just lift out. All right, so we're finally taking out this uh, disgusting gas tank full of three-year-old gas. Uh, it's not even gonna burn right. Like, what are you? Okay. Gross. Cool. Wow, that's super easy. To uh, tank is spilling everywhere. Bolt wasn't working. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Yeah. Oh, Woo! You there she goes. 12 right? pounds of nothing. Liquid sunlight. There's a lot of cool stuff that I always, you know, like even you're taking this apart, but like look how cool that shelf is. You could use that for the batteries. You Absolutely. Know, like, it's great stuff in oh, here. Oh, I mean, that's not where we, <laughs> again, this is the batteries. I know. Okay, so now we're doing the choke and the throt and the throttle. Starter motor is off. Wait, so Mr. G, we're taking apart this engine. Yeah. And there's an electric on. motor on this engine. It's a starter motor. And this is the little Bendex motor. Little driver, it goes click into place. So, see that little, look, wait, Jesse, you see the screw? Oh yeah. See that, and it slides That's right awesome. in. And then when it, when that, it's called an overrun clutch. 
or driver. And then what happens is when these teeth move faster when it starts, it then flicks it out of the way. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. All right, big, big moment. Big moment here. Big moment. Drop her down. All right, you want me to lift it out? Yeah. You don't want to, you want to lift it together? No, no, no. I want to see you tear that thing out. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Ah, my back! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need help. Is there a smarter way to do this? Yeah, two people. It's heavy. That's the smarter way, huh? <laughs> oh, it's out! All right, ready? Put it on the floor next to you. You got it? You're dripping oil! Wow, people complain about batteries being heavy. Look at this thing, it's so look light at, now. Look at this engine bay. I know, look at how much room there is. I could fit there. No! <laughs> Mr. G. Uh, would you guys explain uh, how that steering rack and pinion thing works? So it's not rack and pinion. Oh, what is it? No, I guess it's like um, worm gear to gear. Yeah, or just kind of like a just and gear the, to gear. And then the gear has a pivot. So uh, here's your uh, your helical gear in a way. And then, yeah, take that. Actually, yeah, take this out. Then this goes into a bushing. So if you go down here, if you look right there, there's a hole with a, like a rubber bushing that goes in. And then you kind of just, when you move it, you're moving this gear. Make sure you're pulling it. Yeah. And what happens oh, is. Oh, let's touch this rod. And this one is connected across to that one, so they move together. That's how it works. It's got to get locked in and have yeah. to keep pressure. And then this gets, gen, you know, non critical, but that gets put there. And then when you're stupid, like, and get carried away, you break the dashboard. Ah! <laughs> which holds all this together. <laughs> wow, it's looking empty. Yeah, so we're just stripping off uh, all these components. All of this was basically to hold up uh, the mower blades, which are over there, uh, which we don't need anymore. So we don't need any of this. Um, there's also some stuff that would do some speed control. We're gonna be doing that all digitally now, or with electricity at least. Um, oh my God. Don't need that. You don't need this? Nah. So we're just, yeah, saving ourselves some, some hassle because why drive around all this extra weight? It's not doing anything for us. I don't know if you can see this, but there used to be all sorts of crap in here. Look at all this. And uh, Jesse just uh, ripped it all up. Let's go see the uh, pile of crap. This is all the stuff you don't need. All right, so Mr. G, look at this. We Boy. tore everything that we didn't need out of this machine, and it is so much lighter. Yeah. I mean, I think I can just about Whoa, lift it. Oh, that was pretty good. And I'm not. I was not able to lift the, uh, you know, when it had the engine in it. And I mean, we took a giant pile of stuff out of this thing. And especially on the underside, we cleared up a lot of ground clearance. So this mm -hmm. is now a rock crawler mm -hmm. um, for sure, right? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> and I mean, look at how much room we've got. There, no motor needs to go here or anything. So we can just load this up with batteries. I mean, look at this. This is one giant battery pack. That's one You can kilowatt. easily fit three more. Maybe yeah. in, you know, we could fit our pack there. We could yeah. fit this one. We could just chunk, 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 chunk. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to. And this is so much lighter than the engine. Yeah. Like really, for real. The engine was so heavy. Yeah, it was pretty heavy. That's Jehu Garcia's uh, one kilowatt hour uh, pack. You can actually just buy that by itself. So if you don't want to be building, you know, lithium ion packs, you can just plop that right in there, mm -hmm. strap it down. We got the motor here. Yeah, we're going to use the, uh, Jesse, we're going to use the old adapter plate from our lawnmower conversion. And since it already has our bolt pattern, and then we're just going to drive the top of the uh, differential right here. And we just have to make a spacer and put some, we'll just, actually, there you go. Boom. Look you know, how gonna, simple this is. Yeah. 
there were wires and clutches and you know you think like oh you know it's an electric thing so it's got to be more complicated right no yeah no there's no there's no fuel tank no it's belts two no wires. pulleys yeah we're gonna we're gonna have a motor controller we're gonna add some complexity there but look how simple and light this thing is yep now even if someone said hey that motor is that mo powerful enough it's probably close you could even size up a little bit, but Absolutely. there's still room. All you'd have is one that's a little bit, maybe a little bit taller, maybe a little bit diameter, but it's basically the same package. What right. is this, a mini lawnmower? <laughs> All right, let's get this ridiculous contraption set up here. So like you could buy some crazy coupler, but you can't because there's no such thing even exists. Right. So we had to make our own. All right, ready? Yeah. Uh, you want to, Jesse, you want to guide me in? Sure. There you go, handle that That's side. It. Yeah! All right, wait, so. There. All right. So you hold it. What, oh, this thing's gonna wanna move. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue our adventures on the Conversion Garage.